Isn't it funny how people make decisions that don't affect them? A woman's womb isn't public property nor a man's prerogative. It takes two to create life, but only one must burden it. Women take one step forward and then five back. What the heck is this? Woman and mother are not synonymous. She is her own being, autonomous. And see, part of reproductive freedom is the liberation to be erogenous. Men are just as sexual, but then women bear the consequence. So what? Abortion gets abolished and one must have confidence in this government. No childcare, no formula. We're sick and tired of the politics. Your morality, it doesn't bother me. Sometimes abortion is necessary. Sometimes it looks like shame. Other times it looks like the face of abuse, guilt, rage. What if a child's right to life is a woman's death plight? Must she, what, carry her own coffin and pray to God that she survives? Abortion has allowed women to build economies and businesses without pregnancy holding her back. And yet, we want to go back to a time when she was enslaved to a man. Nah, we've come too far for this. Life is only a gift if you actually want it. You may not like this, but this is a fact. Motherhood should be a choice and not a trap. So, if it is about women's rights, then what about children's rights? And if a heartbeat beats in week six, then who gives you the right to beat life out of a fetus? Is your body an asylum that you must seek freedom from nature's season? Has the woman's womb become a war zone, an embellished graveyard? What about your agendas? Your Margaret Sanger eugenics? Since Black Lives Matter, does that change your conception? Police with guns would protest, but doctors with knives get acceptance. Wombs, wound with war. Guess there's no place for rest. Bodies brutally bulleted in life and abortion celebrated for death ectopics. Rape. We sympathize and understand. But ectopic pregnancies actually need healthcare. You decide to use abortion as a contraceptive plan. You say men are not involved, but you choose them. You say anyone is a woman who claims it. So which one is it? Which one are you saying? We're not pushing on your rights. We're pushing for life. Reproductive freedom should not come at the cost of fetal genocide or children having the right to thrive. You can't expect to have sex and not be exempt from nature's conquest. So before you defend abortion, first know what you are defending. The child's feet are ripped from its legs and you call that healthcare. I guess it's fair for you to assume that everything is about you. Or like it or not, you were created to care for another too. A wound in wisdom. So answer me this. If a fetus isn't human, then why is there a procedure to kill it? Bacteria is considered life on Mars, but a heartbeat is insignificant. You can have your choices, but know that every action has a precipitant.